gosh, there's a nap. We can drink some kombucha. Kombucha. Have you guys ever tried kombucha? It's like really good, but it like it's gonna explode. Cause all the air. Anyways, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be dressing like Daisy Jones characters for a week. I really like to say that I sort of have the style of Daisy Jones. I just really like the bohemian, free people sort of style, but also I'm not a styling queen. I'm not a styling master in any sense. I don't really know too much about fashion, but I enjoy it, you know? My hair may a little fluffy today. If you don't know what Daisy Jones and the Six is, here it is. It is a book written by Taylor Jenkins, Taylor Jenkins Reid, and it follows seven, more than seven, people. It just follows this like make-believe fictional band in the 70s. It's like loosely based off of uh, Fleetwood Mac. Not loosely, it's like, it's like, it's pretty based off Fleetwood Mac and like their story and stuff. It's a really good book. I highly recommend that you read it. But it recently just got transformed into a show, a TV show, and it's on Amazon Prime. Guys, I was obsessed with the book, but seeing it all come to life in a show? Chef's kiss. Also, we have my celebrity crush for a long time. Sam Claflin, Billy Dunn, which I always thought it was Billy Dune. It's Billy Dunn. Am I just like, because it's spelled D-U-N-N-E, Billy Dune, you know? It's Billy Dune, it's not Billy Dunn. So in the show, I, I fell in love with everything. Every song I know by heart now, I'm playing it on the guitar. Maybe I'll say something like that this week. Every outfit in this TV show, I was like, I want that. I need that in my life. So here's an excuse to buy Daisy Jones outfits or wear what I already have because I am not rich. I did, however, purchase one thing for this video and for myself to just wear around the house, which you're going to see today because today is our day one. Why not start off day one with dressing as Daisy Jones herself? For Daisy Jones, she wears a lot of crop tops, a lot of shorts, high boots, and then we're just gonna just be like, oh yes, I'm Daisy Jones. Okay, I have a lot of white tops. We have this one from Free People that's kind of just like flowy. Then this one, which this is not even a top, like it's kind of like a cover up. Then this one. This is the one. Okay, I decided without you guys. When you reach out for See if my kombucha's ready. Oh my gosh. Oh, I did it. Mm. Like, you literally have to prepare your taste buds for kombucha. Like you literally have to, like you have to mentally prepare to drink kombucha. Mm. Oh, that was enough. Oh my, I'm getting notes of tomato. Okay, so I've decided for my first outfit, I'm gonna do this beautiful top, which is so, so Daisy Jones, right? And then some shorts. And she has these beautiful boots that she always wears throughout the show which are like these i'll put a picture these like high brown tall boots and i went to dsw i was like looking around for boots none none of them were there in my size because i have big feet I'm sorry i'm not size seven in boots so you're just gonna get the top and the shorts today i'm gonna go get changed so let's go Last forever. I don't think I like this top as much as I thought I would for this outfit. 
I think we're gonna change, so let's change. We changed! You can't really see me, let me. I feel like this is more Daisy Jones. You know, we're having the aesthetic, the vibe, with the white top. I feel very like, right in a song. Song? Mm, that kombucha's coming up. But let me go put on. It's a go for this video, okay. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? I look like a whole track noted on. <laughs> I look like Lord Voldemort. I can touch you now. I'm over, can I'm over. <laughs> so okay. Oh my god! Oh! You regret me and I regret you. <laughs> In the next video, if you see me with this hair, I mean, just don't not expect it. What is going on? Okay, I need to take a breath. <sighs> I don't know what to do with myself. Maybe should we go out in the kitchen? Should we make some food? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I have bang in my eyes. See, that's the thing about bangs. Like, they get in your eyes. I've always wanted bangs, though. I don't think that's a bad thing. Well, I guess I'll show you the whole outfit in all of its glory. We have a cute little shirt, some shorts, and I really wish... I had some boots, but I don't. This is what we're gonna, this is what we're working with. Wait, let me, let me go get something. I'll be right back. give Daisy Jones vibes? I thought so too. <laughs> I've only been using a pick for like a month, so I don't really, it's like hard. Shout out to all the guitar players out there, cause I'm like, if the, This is the natural color of my hair. Oh, bye. Let's make some food. Because I'm kind of hungry. Alright, everyone. So we are now in my kitchen. So I've been really into cooking lately. And here's the problem with that. I really have ingredients. I don't have a meal like a frozen meal that I could just warm up. Should we make a pizza? I got pizza crusts from Trader Joe's. I didn't get a pizza, I got pizza crusts. <laughs> Cause, let's do it. Let's make some pizza. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I'm just like chilling and then so anyways um can't take it off I can't take it off Ooh that's 
smell good. How much sauce are you supposed to do? You're a father now, Jordan. You're a father now. And you're still acting like an infant. You got real anger issues, don't you? <laughs> now that we have the sauce on, we're going to add a little bit of mozzarella. Got all of juice on me. I don't know how long it's been. I have not had an olive. Do they still? I want to show you guys. This is Bella the basil plant. <laughs> I mean, she's she's pretty healthy. I love her, and she provides me a lot of basil and a buddy because she's she's just the sweetest. Okay, we're gonna cut up some pepper. Peppa, what are you doing in my pepper? Ladies and gentlemen, I found the mother load. So I got this stuff at Trader Joe's, which is Belella. Belella? Belella? A, a Middle Eastern salad with chickpeas, tomatoes, and black beans. Ooh. And then I got some Trader Joe's pesto vegan kale cashew basil pesto. pizza. <gasps> I loaded it up with everything, but it actually looks so good. So I'm going to throw this in the oven. While that's cooking, I'm going to go clean my room. Scratch that. I'm not going to clean my room. I'm going to clean the kitchen. Proud to myself. Okay, 
So I am almost out of storage on my card, so I'm gonna get a new one tomorrow. But today was such a fun day. It is currently 4.31 and now for the rest of the time, I am basically going to watch Twilight and eat my pizza. Okay, everybody, welcome to day two of dressing like Daisy Jones characters. Today is, drumroll please, what character are we doing? <gasps> Camila. So basically, my entire closet is very Camila. I love her style. I got a few things. I think I know what I'm gonna go with. When I bought this dress, I literally, like all I could think about was Camila. Like, literally. So I, I feel like it's only fair to wear this. This is the dress. Oh, does that not scream Camila? It just, and it's long. This is one of my favorite dresses of all time. I got it from the thrift store for like $8. You can find the best things at the thrift store. And I did something very special for this video. I straightened my hair. I know. <laughs> she straightened her hair. I have not straightened my hair like this in since I was in middle school and I burned the bejesus out of my hair with my straightener. Like, no joke, every time I straighten my hair it just ends, would split off and you're like... So maybe that wasn't too healthy to do, but I don't know. I also have layers which I cut myself. <laughs> Just don't look at it too closely because I, I did cut it myself, so yeah, but we'll put this on and then for the shoes Guys, I have the cutest shoes. Let me show you. These are the shoes. I feel like these are also so Camila like I call my ballet slipper shoes because they look they're like the ballet color They kind of look like ballet slippers. You wrap them around the ankle. You know what I mean? So that's what we're gonna do today for Camila. And then for hair, I was thinking I would just leave my hair down, but we also have a little headband. Now I look like I'm doing an 80s workout. Okay, babes. So I'll put my dress on. Um, Let me show you it. Here it is. I feel very like zen in my moment. I feel like Camila, you know, like, and I'm still questioning what I should do with my hair because I think we can just, I don't know, what do we think? Okay, so I have a mirror and I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna put my mirror right here and we're gonna decide what to do. Should we just do that? I don't know guys, should we just do that? I feel like that's very Camila. Ow! I haven't worn my hair like this in forever. Let's look up some Camila hairstyles. I know one of them has a really cute hairstyle that I was like, I'm gonna do it. Even though it doesn't go with the outfit, let's do that. This one, can you see that? Okay. So which one should we do? I feel like the, I'm leaning towards this one. Get on my motorcycle. Okay, so we got that. To top it off, <laughs> I, look, I look a little intimidating, guys. Don't mess with me. I'm actually not mad about this hairstyle. <laughs> wig snatched. I was gonna buy a black wig like a black long wig but she doesn't have black hair so much as like dark brown hair and honey i got dark brown hair obviously my hair is not like below my waist which is like her kind of vibe it was but then i i chopped it let's clean my room because i really have to clean my room right now it looks kind of disastrous do you guys want to see my room Wow. Should I put that music while I'm cleaning my room? an 
ideal way to store your wigs. It looks oddly disturbing. But it gets the job done. We have the hair stick it. Okay, this is getting weird. My battery died, so I had to replace it. Oh, also this lens. So happy. It feels so good to clean your room. All right. So I figured this would be a good time to do a little thing. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I thought it would be really fun since I'm new here to do a little game with you guys to just like kind of get to know each other and maybe you guys could answer a question that I choose in the comments. But I got this game. We're not really strangers. Whoop! <laughs> we'll see how this goes because some of these questions are like really intense but I want you guys to get to know me and I really want to get to know you guys yeah if you want to only if you want to please answer the question that I choose in the comments I think this would be kind of fun there's level one two three and that's it <laughs> for this game so let's just choose level one for now and answer a question what do I think is the hardest part of what I do for a living? It's technically what do you think is the hardest part of what you do for a living? But what do I think is the hardest part? Well, right now, I am wanting to be an actress, so I'll just go off of that. I think this is a great question to start. The hardest part of being an actress is all of the rejection. There's so much... <laughs> not me getting sad. No, today is not a day to get sad. I'm dressed as Camila. Today is not the day. I don't know, it, it kind of a lot of the time feels like you're just another... A little piece that you're just kind of this inanimate object. And I get it, like casting directors are looking at hundreds of audition tapes a day. And so if you don't stand out, it's just kind of like you're thrown to the wolves and being like... Nah. On to the next audition, you know, and getting an audition in itself is a really big honor because there are hundreds of thousands of people who want to be an actor, but obviously we all want to book something. We all want to be on like Stranger Things and stuff and um, going through that is definitely really difficult. I think waiting is the hardest part. Waiting for like that perfect audition, the perfect time. It's so unknown. And so my advice, if you want to be an actor, just try to fill your life with other things besides acting because you will drive yourself mad. You will go mad. Like the Hatter. Anyways, answer that in the comments if you guys want to. You know, what's the hardest part of what you guys do for a living? But also, we can change this into something good. What is the best part of what you guys do as well? I, I would love to know that. For me, is getting to be myself. I really feel like myself when I'm on a set or just talking to people in the industry, especially actors, people who like the same things, like talking to people who love movies and stuff. And I think the most rewarding would have to be making people feel something. I remember in sixth grade, my dad took me out of school to go see <laughs> The Amazing Spider-Man 2. It was the best time. And we got popcorn and we sat in the movie theater and <laughs> I just remember that feeling. The movie theaters, it's my favorite place in the world, along with the airport. I love the airport. The airport, you can do so many cool things. Like, the airport, chef's kiss. I remember the feeling walking out of that movie theater, first of all, with my huge crush on Andrew Garfield. That has not changed. I just remember thinking, like, that would be kind of, that would be so cool to, like, like be Gwen and be swung by Spider-Man. The imagination, the fact that you could just play pretend. And so being an actor is just so cool. There's that. There's our first ever question from our game. So yeah, what's the best and worst part of your guys' job? In the comments. I would love to read them.
Okay, everybody. Does anybody else have those days where you put makeup on and then you're like, I looked better without makeup, I don't. But then you don't want to remove the makeup that you just put. That's how I feel. Anyways, welcome everyone to day three of dressing like Daisy Jones characters. I have a lot of energy today. It is currently, Alexa, what time is it? It's 4.17 p.m. It's 4.17. I did my laundry today, but I figured you guys don't want to see that because it's boring. And did I already say we're dressing like Karen today? If I didn't, we're dressing like Karen today. Woot woot. Now, Karen from, and not, may I speak to the manager, Karen? I'm talking about Miss Suki Walsh House. I feel like it's kind of awkward you can see me in the mirror. Because, like, you can see, like, the back of Anyways, Karen's style is very, like, kind of just darker, so she wears a lot of, like, black. Uh, I'll put some pictures up so you can see. Let me show you the options I have for the Karen outfit. I found these flare, black flare pants, which I thought were, like, very promising. Um, yeah. Oh, I also have this top thing which I thought was like really 70s so we'll definitely see we'll try on a few options and um, we'll go from there so this is the first you can't really see it I feel like something is missing but I can't pinpoint it maybe let's try on this over it oh <gasps> does that look does that look silly or does that look cool I can't tell you see that and like the boots like this is kind of Karen am I tripping uh-oh, my battery's gonna die. <gasps> Did you see that? Ew, I don't like that. No, I feel like we're a little on edge today, but we're dressed as Karen, so we should be. Like, I feel like I could be in a band. I can play keys. But my hair is still straight from being Camila, and so I kind of wanted to add a little bit of oomph to it and make it kind of like that like 70s blowout we'll see what i can do you see that here's her hair <laughs> this is a different look Ooh, sweet nanny well that definitely did something ladies and gents <laughs> 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 I feel like a completely different person. I'm taking my gum out for this. All right, everyone. This is our look for today. So we got this adorable shirt and then I we got this black sort of tie around it because she has like chokers and stuff. And then we got my black pants that are flare and then my boots. <laughs> Let me speak to the manager. Can you be in a solo band? Because I, I have no one to be in a band with. You know what? Let's, let's make some brownies. Look at how good these look. These brownie, I looked at this box and I was like, Ugh. that was my exact sound I made. Ugh. Do I want to make an entire pan of brownies? Because I will eat this whole pan probably tonight. It's Olivia editing and I did in fact eat the entire pan. It's the day after I made that clip and then I have like a sliver left, so. Sorted. I can't control myself, what can I say? I love sugar. <laughs> in the kitchen. Oh! I'm gonna cut that. Okay. So let's cut it open. Let's cut her open. Enough. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. So we got the mix and bow. Now, we're going to get a stick of butter, which thankfully I have. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh my gosh! My bloody butter melted! Because I, I was too, too idiot! Ta da! Can you 
you guys do the one-handed crack? Are you ready for this? Yeah! I don't know why I'm doing it like this. I just wanted to show you guys. Look at that. She's a baker. Karen's a baker. I totally see a Karen, like who wants to talk to the manager, Karen, as a baker. Like she, she may be a pain in the butt, you know, but she also probably could make some good brownies. You know what time it is. Time to spin the wheel of mythicality! Alexa, set a timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes, starting now. I'm sweating profusely because I hope my brownies aren't burnt. Mm. I think I put them in for too long. I don't mind the burnt. Actually, it tastes a little better. It gives it flavor. Oh, that, was, that was really fun. I'm very excited for tomorrow as she takes a sip of her tea. Water, it's not tea, it's water. All right, everyone, welcome to day four. Today is very exciting. We are going to be dressing like Manu I've had a crush on since I was in sixth grade. We are going to be dressing like Billy Doom. Done, Billy done. Billy has a lot of these sort of outfits where he has like this button-up shirt. I do not own like a single button-up. I found this outfit of his when I was watching the show and I was like, I actually have the stuff to do that outfit. This is where he was songwriting with Daisy Jones and they have that cute little moment, but then Camila walks in and he's like, mm -mm. we just have to be friends. I have these pants, which, are my bell bottoms. These are from Altered State and they literally used to be my favorite pants. Um, but I'm just gonna say, I bought these when I was a sophomore. I am now out of high school. <laughs> I have grown a little bit. I have this kind of black tank top, like kind of like the one he's wearing. He's wearing more of like a, what is it called? I don't even know. I really know fashion terms. Let's try on. I'm a little scared, guys. Let's try on these. And <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I'm like, ooh. Or, oh. Okay. What do we think? Oh! I feel like everyone has that pair of pants in their closet. They're, they're kind of terrified to put back on. These were the pants that I'm like, I'm a little nervy, you know, but, but, okay, feel like a little ballerina. Let's put the boots on to get the full effect. Let's see. Guys, this, what do we think? Do we look, do we look like Billy Dunn? Wait, I have to make like a, like a. I don't like that, Daisy. I don't like that. This is my band. This is not yours. This is my band. And we do what I say. What I say goes. I actually layered tank tops. See, this is its own little top. And then the back, that's what the back looks like. Like a little swan. And we have the boots. We have the hair. I also didn't put any like blush on today because blush is my forte. Oh, she's a rhyming today. You know, but I didn't, yeah. Because I wanted to have that Billy Dunn sort of look. My goodness, a lot of hair is coming out. Okay. 
I can see us living in the like a mirage on sand. What does that even mean? Like a mirage on sand? Like a mirage on sand? Please, I'm down on my knees. I got a family. Burn with the terrible girl. She's a Please, if it's only a single bite. Sound like Stevie Nicks. Listen to the wind, brother. <laughs> She's a musician. My dad texted me. He asked, how's my day going? My day's going really good. Let's call my dad. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you some things that I made. Because these are pretty fun. It's a little bent is my movie poster of all my favorite movies. Should I turn my camera around and actually show you? We have movies from Up, of course The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and The Amazing Spider-Man's on here somewhere. Ah, right there. And Scooby-Doo, Pirates of Korea, like, these are my top movies. Of course, the list has expanded. Movies that aren't on here, the 1994 version of Little Woman with Christian Bale, and American Psycho. Shocker. You may think, what the heck is that girl doing like an American Psycho? I don't know. I just like the movie. Actually, I think you know why. It's Christian Bale. It's Christian Bale. No. No. You answered. Wait, what happened? They casted Atlas. I don't know who it is, but he kind of looks like Atlas. Wait, tell me his name. You can't just leave me like that. I d you search it up. Wait, his oh name God. is his name is Brandon Skelner. Skelner. Brandon Skelner. Brandon. Who the heck is that? Oh, wait, wait. Skelner. Wait. Images. Wait. No, 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 no. He kind of gives me the ick. <laughs> That's not good. So, we've been talking about this for months. I don't know. Let's see what people in the comments are saying. People don't like it. But some people do. Some people are like, this looks good. I feel like with a book, it, it's hard. It's really hard to make everyone happy. I mean, it's impossible. You can't do that. Okay. Bye. Okay, guys, they have officially casted Atlas, and it ends with us. It's weird because Atlas, in my mind, is just this perfect embodiment of a human being, and to see it come to life is kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Anyways, have you guys read End It Ends With Us? It's a pretty solid movie. I mean, <laughs> a book, <laughs> not a movie. Okay. It's a little later, um, it's about 6.10 right now, and I was just editing my video. I don't know, today I caught up, sort of had this like, ugh, spurt of like anger mixed with sadness, mixed with motivation, because I just found out that another role that I auditioned for, for acting, um, didn't work out, and it's fine. I kind of knew I wasn't gonna get it because my, my look, didn't really match like the look they were going for but it just feels like I'm waiting like when you really know that this is your life's calling it is a waiting game because I know that I'm going to get there as long as I keep holding on I will get there it's just a matter of when and that's the part that is so difficult anyways I really just love I want to have real talk with you guys and not be all perfect because life isn't perfect and human beings aren't perfect and I'm not perfect and so putting out this perfect persona is not what I want to do. If you guys are struggling with trying to figure out who you are, trying to figure out what to do, I'm in the same boat as you. So just know that you're not alone. So far I just want to say thank you for sticking around. This has been really really fun to dress as Daisy Jones characters. 
Yeah. We were just wondering if it's going to be replaced or repaired. You know, any information you have, we, we would really appreciate it. Can you guess what I'm watching? Lemonade mouth! That's right, ladies and gents. I'm watching Lemonade Lemonade, lemonade, lemonade Mouth. I have I have not seen Lemonade Mouth in forever. And so I'm very excited to be watching it today. I like logged on to Disney Plus and I was like, Lemonade Mouth is on there. Any hoosies? <laughs> Welcome to day five. This is the last day of dressing like Daisy Jones characters. And it's been a long time coming. We're just gonna have to say that. I have a few options sitting in front of me. I may actually try to make something because I have this. Whoa. I have this like long. I'm gonna search it up. One sec. <laughs> oh my god. I think we're going out with a bang. We are going out with a bang. So I just used the clothes that I had in my closet and I had this like flowy sort of top. This was in my get rid of pile because I'm like, I'm never going to wear this. But then an opportunity arose and here we are. I have recreated her Aurora photo shoot outfit, which I just fell in love with. I feel so like, I feel like my name is Victoria, like, or... You know, it's Daisy, but it could also be like Victoria or like, I feel like a different person in this wig, you know? And then I have just a sports bra from Fabletics. <laughs> and then I have, <laughs> I have some rain boots. She was wearing cowboy boots in her photo shoot outfit, but I don't have cowboy boots. So we're doing rain boots. Here is the whole look. <laughs> this Oh my gosh, I feel, I feel so cool. It's like... Cheers to day five of dressing like Daisy Jones characters. We've already gone through a lot together. <laughs> I honestly, I was editing this video, I'm like, I have no clue how long this video is going to be. If you have stuck it out with me to the end, thank you. I'm not really doing much for the rest of the day. I'm just kind of, um, well, guys, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Superior movie. I have to do a scene where it's like, where she's arguing with Billy. She's like, how dare you, Billy? You, you're being such a jerk. And he's like, Daisy, I'm not the jerk. You're the jerk. She's like, no. I'm not the muse. I am the somebody. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had such a blast. Such a blast. Dressing like Daisy Jones characters. I don't really know how to do outros, but, um, see you later. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.